Yo, it's your boy Sunny Digital, man. You know what time it is. I'm rocking with Ink Junkies, man. Let's get it. You know I'm rocking with Lala. Let's get it. Sunny, what up, Sunny, nigga? What up, nigga? Sunny, digital. Okay. So who is Alejandro? Who is this guy? I see you post about who is that person, that alter ego. That's only on Snapchat, man. You got to follow. You got to follow the, um, the Snapchat to find out who that is. What's your Snapchat name? Uh, um, what is it? Hell, I'm hot, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um. Alejandro Pesos. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, cool. Alejandro Pesos is his um Snapchat. Okay. Yeah. Real niggas is back. DJ Holiday. Holiday season. Holiday season. Gucci. Trap back. So when did you begin producing? Um, started. It was probably like I be forgetting like the time be like kind of shifting and shit. We keep on getting older. I ain't the same age and shit. <laughs> yeah. So it's probably it's been over ten years. Though. I'm at that point now. Like, it's nice. been over ten years. Though, so it's been a minute. Oh. Yeah. Yo, rich nigga made a million. Y'all swiping. Hey, so describe who you are as a person. Um, I'm a rapper. 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 Um, I don't know if people would know, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't like it ain't one sound like you said though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting you from all different angles. Like if I told you people who I was probably gonna be working with, it probably wouldn't process in your head immediately though, because you know what I'm saying, it don't make sense right mm -hmm. now, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Well for other people, you know what I'm saying? So how important would you say um, is production to the success of a song? Like producers play like a critical role to a song, in my opinion. Like to me, like I'm gonna listen to the beat before I listen to the lyrics. I mean, all right, let's put it like this. Right now, I feel like that shit is becoming very important because, um, well, even like I feel like it matters the most though because shit, we we don't need the artists no more to motherfucking make money. You know what I'm saying? We can go out and go play our beats, you know what I'm saying? And go and say like one or two words over our own beat and like that's a song, you know what I'm saying now, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like right now like the beats is like way more important though because you could take away the beat from a song and they could still be a song that you can't take away. I mean I'm not I'm not saying that vocals can't be a song though, but I'm pretty sure people just don't wanna hear vocals. They wanna hear some tunes behind it though. And I'm pretty sure people wanna hear a beat over some a cappella vocals any day. Right. So who do you enjoy collabing with most um, as far as like the producer side and the artist side? Like I see you constantly work with Metro. Yeah. Um, who do you prefer to? I mean with, with my people, you know what I'm saying? Metro, Team, you know, Southside, all the same people, you know what I'm saying? Just the, the little the little the little clique that that's being right. kinda known in Atlanta to run around and make the hits, Zay told with all of them, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no no in particular favorite one who I like to work with the most though. It's just like we all just get it. We all work. Got you. What about an artist? Which um, who do you prefer to work with? Like who's the most creative being you know what I mean? Mm. 
I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I like working with new artists, so it's kind of like, let's say if I like put out a name, people are not really gonna pay attention to that shit right now, just to be for real, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like just to be honest, the easiest, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm the easiest person to work with when it comes to music with myself, though. That's why I make my own music, though, too, just because I got full control over that shit. Right. I ain't gotta worry about what he think, or I ain't gotta worry about if, if I'm gonna get to take this song, or if I can, or, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta worry about that shit when I do it myself. Word. Everything is me, the beat, the vocals, the recording, everything, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, yeah, we're gonna get into that, right too, because I want to talk yeah. to you about you as an artist. I think that's definitely interesting. Um, I'll be up early in the morning making plays. Why you was a nigga standing in line for what's that great too from other producers? Like, you know, like you said, like when you, TM, Metro, if everybody in the studio, like, I can hear the difference. But to somebody that may necessarily not know that difference in production, a little shit that matters, mm. what would you say? Between all of us? Yeah. Um, it ain't really no specific thing that, like, that, like, generally separates us, though, but you would just have to really, like, be into, like, I guess, the producer culture to kind of really understand what you, you already in it, though, because you're dealing with us, like, every day, so you know, like, what certain ones sound like and stuff, you know what I'm saying, where it's coming from, or what certain elements of a beat came from, like, there's people who, who I don't know who study me who probably can take a beat that me and Metro and collabed on and completely separate that shit and say what he did and what I did, though, you know what I'm saying, like, I mean... Sometimes you just never know. I mean, that's that's the whole point of collabing, just to come up with something new too. At the end of the day, though, just to hold, just throw the whole thing off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it is taking and putting what you know and what you know together, but sometimes it's mixing it together and coming up with something new. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Hey, Sunny Digital. I'm covered in money, I'm covered in money. These bitches, these niggas, they always so for me. I'm covered in money, I'm covered in money. Just stop it. So I was uh, listening in the interview you did before. You said people don't pay attention until something pops off. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that people would have begin to, you know, recognize you for your rap skills, your artist skills, as well as you know your production skills? Just because mm -hmm. I know you, you rap as I well. Mean, I don't expect them to, because that's not what I'm familiar with them for. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's I was just having this conversation like um, like. Fucking before I came here, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was talking to somebody and I was telling them, like, man, like, about Instagram. It's like, it almost kind of like relates to Instagram. Like, people go to, they go to whoever page they go for, they go to their page for what they known for, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time. Now, I'm not saying 100% of the time, but, like, um, people are gonna go to, um, certain little Instagram girls' pages because they, they know they're gonna be on their showing their ass and shit, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's like true. that's that's all they gonna go there for, you know what I'm saying? That's all they gonna go there for. They're not gonna go there to see them with their family. They're not gonna go there to see them that's fully true. clothed or anything else. They wanna see them butt naked, you know what I'm saying? And that that's applies true. to the same shit with kinda like life until you kinda prove yourself into the things that you actually really want people to like care for about you and stuff though, you know what I'm saying? So I understand what it said though. I respect what it said though, you know what I'm saying? Me being a producer, I expect for people to respect me as producer before artists and everything, which is cool, you know what I'm saying, no matter to me though, you know what I'm saying, I'm not saying I'm generally making music for everybody else though, I never really said that, I just said I just want to make music to where don't nobody tell me what to do with this shit, or right, well they ain't got no say so in it though, or right, where well, I can just make my own music and if it's good to me, it's good to me, it ain't got to be about you or anybody else though, you know what I'm saying, it just so, happen it just so happened that everybody liked the shit too, Word. you know what I'm saying, that's cool, you know what I'm saying. Definitely. But you see, I don't even put out that many records though, because I don't even right. have that much time to be an artist. I know. Because I'm juggling being a producer and like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Because I got to keep up for them, like, floating at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's going, uh, uh. How do you feel like social media's impact is on the music business? and just business in general for you right now as opposed to like the days before social media was like that that go to when I wake up um you see that shit always been like that for me like since okay. I can remember those far music social media was like that's like in our era when True. that shit just like kind of like kind of got really solid in our fucking time and shit though so it was always it's always been in there though so man the social media played like a big role in my career and i feel like it played a big role in a lot of everybody's career out here like like i was just talking about this shit yesterday too who the fuck i'm not i'm not knocking nobody grind anything though but like it's people that do like work extremely 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 hard to get on like 
certain festivals and shit. Right. I'm watching the Summer Jam. Right. And Kendrick Lamar come out, one of the biggest artists, bro, like of our time right now. And Welfin comes on stage, and I don't, I don't, I don't mind anything about that. That's cool. Like y'all do, y'all do what y'all want to though. But you gotta understand though, it is like, you know what I'm saying? There's people out here like that could have easily that who's on the festival stage who could have um, replaced like right. Welvin. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, like let's be for real, bro. For real. I you know agree. But I mean, that's what that floats your boat though. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's on them though. I just wouldn't rock out like that though. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm with you. Um, so yeah, I mean, well, well, I mean, what I'm saying at the end of that though, social media is kind of like a gift and a curse though too. It opens up great doors and it opens up like even worse doors. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta make sure you walk through the good ones though, but also um, notice the bad ones though. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a win and lose game. You know what I mean, you just gotta take, you gotta give and take. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is though. So right, shit. True. It's a shortcut. Yeah. It's a true shortcut because I mean shit. If you ask the people back then who didn't have this shit though, like what they think about it now, they probably looking at everybody like, oh, y'all should be famous though. And if you actually look at it though, the the, the amount of famous people it is now though, it is that shit the fucking like quadruple. Like it's so a crazy. lot of famous people. Like it's famous. When I say famous, I'm not mean like like major league. You got your you got your levels of fame though, but it is people that that does that, that do got their like fan base. You know right. what I'm saying? And they're, and they're famous in their world. Like even like. I'm not saying I'm famous though, but I, I mean, I, I do go places and get spotted outside of where yeah. I stay at, you know what I'm saying, outside of Atlanta, even more outside of Atlanta than anywhere, you know what I'm saying, so I can only imagine somebody else who's got like double and triple and twice and all that, or quadruple more than me, whatever, you know what right. I'm saying, like they, they getting it even worse though, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but I mean, it's, a, it's cool, Right. You, social media is, you just gotta use it to your advantage, you know what I'm saying, that's what I did. Treat it like That's a business. What we do. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so what's your perspective Come on, on hip hop right now and like hip hop in Atlanta? So like hip hop in general and hip hop in Atlanta. I feel like hip hop in general is like hip hop in Atlanta to be honest though. You know what I'm saying? For the most part though, just being for real. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm I'm from here though, so I might just be saying that from a bias standpoint. Sublimity, you know, subliminally and I don't know what I'm gonna say, but um fucking um shit. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I I mean like I I, I like every I like I like going like I took out the tour and stuff so I was going to different places and I was like hearing a lot of different things in here and how people kind of interpret the general sound of music in their own way and shit though it's cool but you know shit Atlanta is Atlanta that's all Sunny Digital I, 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 I am Atlanta no one above um, I personally think it's critical that any artist comes to Atlanta you gotta touch Atlanta just because out of producers yeah. here yeah. Out of everybody's here, so you know why is that? What what makes Atlanta so special where everybody has to come here? Uh, if you do music, you know what people make it like that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I forgot we just having this conversation too with somebody. Everything we talking about, we're just talking about like with somebody else though. Um, not an interview though. It was like a personal conversation though. But um, damn, I forgot how I was explaining it to him though. Like a lot of people, like all right, a lot of people like um blow up and they are just from Atlanta you understand what I'm saying yeah. and it all roots back to just like it just seemed like it's in the soil type of thing though so a lot of people like a lot of people that's hot they're like they're from Atlanta though but they're not like in Atlanta you know what I'm saying and so it's kind of like it make it look it just make it look like it's just like that's just the place where it's just happening that though just because it's just happening so much though you know what I'm saying like I forgot it, it was it was real deep. How I was breaking it down to, to whoever I was talking to, but like that's really like the gist of it, though. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Like, like I feel it. like as a rap artist, they should definitely be here as opposed to just uh, a singer. Then again, yeah, that's true. Everybody should be here though. But then again, everybody be begging for different shit though. So why would everybody want to be in the same place? Word. Man, yeah, for real. <laughs> so. They ask me what I do and who I do it for yeah. And how I come up with this shit up in the studio yeah. All I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe You know, kind of explain the importance of strip clubs And the strip club culture in Atlanta Just because 
I'm from Ohio, so mm -hmm. before I came out here, you hear about Magic City to Onyx, but, mm -hmm. you know, working with the DJs, I see how critical it is to really go to the strip clubs, really gain a hold of these DJs and these uh, dancers. Yeah, like, alright, so I'm at a different point a different point in my career, but I did have to go through that phase to where I did have to damn near be out there and just, like, just be in the mix, you know what I'm saying? It's really like you just gotta be, you just gotta be out there. If you trying to, if you trying to be an entertainer, man, you gotta kind of like, you, you just gotta be out there for like them to like, until the shit pop off though. You know what I'm saying? And then when the shit pop off, that's when you gonna get the chill. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's almost kind of like now when you coming from Atlanta, if you coming from Atlanta, that's some shit that you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of them, them skip hop things that you can't just hop over though. You gotta go fuck with them strip clubs if you coming through here though. You know what I'm saying? And they gotta fuck with you though. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I mean, it all. Everything plays its own role, though. But I mean, it's like you know, you just gotta, just gotta motherfucking fo follow the fucking, the fucking procedures. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I did it. I did it like, like um, I did it. And when I did it, I did it like subconsciously. So it was like um, I was doing it just to have a good time, though. But it was still benefiting me in my career. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm, I'm not saying like go out and make a business all the time, though. Go out and like, and you make it. Fun, you know what I'm saying? Make make it so you do want to go out all the time, though. Cause that's how I did it, and it just happened to work out for me. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like I was just being cool, just being young. Well, I'm still young, but just like just having more fun in there, and just you know what I'm saying. But now we at a point where I didn't already did it. I'm not saying I made it flood in any club or anything like that, though. But I didn't been out enough. I didn't provided enough hits. You know what I'm saying? I just stayed afloat. It, was, it should be enough respect there now. You know what I'm saying? What would you say was your favorite strip club in Atlanta and why? Oh, Kamal's. Really? Yeah, that was my favorite. Why? One. It still is. I still call it Kamal's. I even play it. It's though. always going to be Kamal's. I really call it Platinum, though, because that's what Word, I went there. True. That's, that's, um, that's what I know, knew it as, though. But I mean, that was the first strip club I ever been to. Okay. And, um,. I just never had any like problems in that stroke club, and I, I haven't had any problems in any other stroke club. So, but that that stroke club was just always just still, you know what I'm saying? It's just always just real cool, just being there, just chilling. It's not too big. You can duck out to have a drink, and it's not just always like it's not like just crazy all the time either, though. You True. know what I'm saying? And Cheetah be cool too. Cause they got some good food. Food is amazing, yeah, man. So yeah. I'll be in there fucking with that shit though. But okay. Yeah. They dancers kind of remind me of like Grand Theft Auto though. <laughs> That's what I be telling everybody, everybody who I always go there and I always make sure I take somebody new with me all the time. Yeah. Though, and like, um, I be like, I just feel like, I be telling like, man, I already know what you're thinking. Like, I feel like we walk into a video game. As soon as you like just go through them doors and just go sit down and just really visualize where the fuck you at. Like, man, I'm in Grand Theft Auto right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Weird. Got the club going up. So, what other producers do you look up to, like as far as production wise, as far as business wise, or just anything? Um, all right, well, the shit is in the youth, and let me put it like that, though. And you know, like I would say, everybody who I have already been saying, like you know, like the 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 past people before us and stuff, though. But I'm gonna be honest, like the people I look up to is the people that's coming up and the people that's like right here with me, though. That's you know what I'm saying? Cause those are people who I can touch every day, and those are people that can inspire me and shit, though. Cause I'm hearing they shit all the time. I can't hear, I can't hear fucking um, like all these major people who's making like crazy, crazy shit. I'm only hearing what they putting out. You know what I'm saying? So, and they only come out every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? When I'm here with my, my, my people and I'm seeing everything else that's going on too, you know what I'm saying? That shit just inspired me to motherfucking like that's really right. go hard, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather just, you know, I mean, I feel like shit, that's what inspired, inspired me to keep on going. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's starting to really change though. You know what I'm saying? We're getting older and we're starting to grow into these positions of who we are and stuff though, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, like, I'm just seeing, like, how everybody else is, like, going into them positions, though, and I, I mean, shit, you gotta admire some shit like that, though, you know what I'm saying, right. seeing everybody actually, like, make it into the business with you, and everybody actually still doing business, everybody actually getting money, Definitely. it ain't no motherfucking, like, crazy differences, like, it's just everything good, you know what I'm saying? Right, and I definitely respect that. Yeah. Um... Um, 
So uh, something that bothers me, I just want to know why producers do not use drops in all of their songs. <clears throat> like that kills me. Like why is it sometimes this could be a song produced by Sunny Digital, but mm -hmm. it does not have your tag? All right, so this is the reason. It, now this, I mean, it's partially my fault. It's partially not though. Some of them stories can get real deep. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you about racks. That's this since that was the first one. And I'm gonna tell just for just so everybody know racks on racks. Why well, see future and future? That was like break the song that we all had though, but nobody knew I produced that song. So I had my tag for years before and people already knew who I was, you know what I'm saying? Like around and stuff though. But when I caught that hit and I didn't have my tag, it was like damn I almost had to like just rebuild all this shit over it with though. Alright, build build it all, all the way over though and kinda like make the connection with the people who I was and shit though so they can be familiarized with my past work though, you know what I'm saying? And so what had really happened, why that why my tag wasn't in that beat and I don't think I told anybody this like on camera though, but that was really my fault though. You know what I'm saying? Like what had happened was, and it really wasn't my fault though. I really wasn't blaming on Microsoft. I wasn't blaming on y'all. Just make sure it's real clear. Cause y'all shit be fucking up man. We be going hard on y'all shit though. Yeah. Um, the fucking, the program, it, like when you export it out, right though? So I'm, I'm exporting it out. Trying to motherfucking do it one by one and shit, right? Not one by one, but it's a way to track out a beat all at the same time, whatever. Though. All right, so I don't, I was doing this shit all day, I was working, so I get to the, to the to the racks on racks because they've been hitting me all day about it, though. So I tr finally track it out, tracking that bitch out, right? And so um, it rushed me and shit though. So I kept on trying to track it out to discern well, whatever. It wasn't working though. Kept on getting the ninety nine percent and just stopped. And just stayed right there. So like the time you gotta imagine all the time that was going by though, cause like I did it a couple times before. I was like, well, let me let it just sit on 99 and see if it's gonna tip over to 100 percent. Never did. So the time kept on getting shorter. So they kept on pressing me for the beat. Like you know, like damn, I gotta hurry and get the beat for him, cause they was paying me for it too. So I was right. like, shit, let me motherfucking get this beat for him. And so by when it was like pulling up, I was like, man, fuck, let me just track it out one by one, cause there's a lot of sounds in this beat too. So and I didn't want to do it that way, so I had to track it out one by one. So I started tracking that shit out. Then the last sound with my tag, and I'm like, fuck this shit, man. Let me just hurry and give him this shit right quick. Yeah. That shit ended up blowing up, man. Shit ended up fucking like missing my name on there though. But it's cool though. It was like it was, it was like a blessing in disguise though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I don't know where I would be at right now though. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It was cool though. You right. know what I'm saying? It just kind of gave me some room to kind of like do some, put some work in, and I guess become. Like as cool as I am though, I probably would have skyrocketed right there. I probably right. would have been right back on my ass like the next year. That's you know real. What yeah, timing is everything. Yeah, so I ain't really tripping about it though. It's something cool. That's still like a fact that I can just always just throw out there to people who know me, but just don't go back that far. Though. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I know there's a, stump, a song that's gonna stick around for like forever, probably until I die. You know what I'm saying? That's Future's like breakthrough record. You know what I mean? Yeah. Future one of you know the hottest. I, I feel like even if it, I mean, it, it is dead right now though. It's gonna pop up in some movies. Oh, it's yeah. gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be some checks later on down the road though. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, it's still like, like I said, it's still a cool fact though to kind of even like start a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't know know me. They only know me from last year and up to now, which right. ain't nothing though. Like, I'm just one hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm like, bro, it's okay, well, shit, I got X, Y, and Z behind. Well, before this, you know what I'm saying? So it's just the yeah. conversation started. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. In the enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? As to like how long I've been doing it. Right. Uh, even though it ain't been that long, but to stay afloat that long is like, and constantly is just like, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. That's very rough. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Mm. It's real. The thirst. It's real. You all up in my section. Well, you need to chill. So, so just to kind of top off for that, how important would you say it was for, or it is for an artist to kind of credit a producer on a song? Like on a mixtape when you see the names or it's like produced yeah, you by... respect your producer because your producer can go produce for anybody else, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you find out, somebody gonna find out that person has five beats, bro. You know what I'm saying? You better fucking love your producer. Treat your producer like your real brother and shit, though. Because one thing that everybody always gonna need when they're doing music is beats. There's one thing they're always gonna need. We don't necessarily need vocals anymore. You know what I'm saying? You can go to Pandora and motherfucking um, go listen to some pianos, some classical pianos by themselves. I don't know if you can go listen to acapellas. I don't know how many people listen to that station. You know what I'm saying? But I know I ain't never listened to that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. Niggas better start 
like praising y'all producers, man, because that's where it's set, though. You know what I'm saying? The tables are starting to turn. You know what I'm saying? And like, we can go out and start going and get getting shows just as much as you getting paid just as much as you and doing way less work. Just playing the songs we produce and shit, just playing our beats. Don't mm -hmm. let it get there now. But don't let it get to the point where we can just solely just. I mean, if they already doing it, but I'm talking about in the hip hop world, we can just play our beats and have the party just going up the whole time. It's that's gonna there. that's gonna eliminate every fucking reason to fuck with a rapper. Like so, why? Just tell me why would I need a rapper at that point now? If I can get the money by myself, I can just keep on making my name bigger. People just want to hear my beats. Why do I need a rapper? Definitely. Why do I need anybody else at that point? You know what I'm saying? I can rap my own shit and shit still be fire. How valuable is that, man? <laughs> That's real. I mean, I seen you had the crowd turn up for the South by Southwest uh, when you was DJing. What we did out there? Um, it was for <laughs> Damn, BMI. Oh yeah, yeah that, that shit, shit was dope. That, that shit, shit was turned. crazy. It was a rooftop joint. Yeah, that shit was turned. I can't lie, that shit was turned up. And that was dope. So that's an example. Though. I mean, it's it's getting to that point where it is. You know what I'm saying? You know? It's even getting fun. Like, bro, I don't even have to play like a lot of records. That like people just. It's almost kind of like what they doing with these artists and stuff. Though, like how they giving these artists these playlists and stuff. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I mean, I'm not gonna lie. The playlist shit though, that's actually kind of cool though, because it kind of like keep the door open for like new artists right. and kind of figure out what these mainstream artists are looking at. I feel like it's cool. It don't even, it, to me, it don't matter who it's coming from. It's coming from Jay Z, Drake, or Lil Wayne, anybody. Though. Just to know these people listen to some time. Just to make people, you know what I'm saying? Kind of yeah. excite people and stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. I'm a dog, just like Gucci said. Yeah. Married to the money, I'm a newlywed. So, um, describe the impact that Q had on your career and also Gucci Man, too. Just because Gucci, I feel like, you know, he's a big street AR. He mm -hmm. definitely put people on to a lot of producers. I know for me, at least, coming from, like, you know, a small town like Ohio, I definitely heard about all you guys through him mm -hmm. as one of the main sources. So kind of describe um, that impact. Well, with Gucci, Gucci, he was, he's just always just been that, that, that nigga in Atlanta. Even before I even, like, before I, like, knew him, like, personally and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just always, I was bumping, like. Like all, all the Gucci yeah, shit, though. Classics. You know what I'm saying? I was. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but, I was, but before, like, I'm not gonna lie though. Like before, I was like, actually in the game when I was still a consumer and still trying to get in though. When Jeezy and motherfucking Gucci was out though, I was listening to G more more Jeezy though than Gucci at the time though. But as like as I started kind of getting in though, I started to fuck with like I started to, I started to understand it though. Like like I started understand Gucci more. You know what I'm saying? And I just start kind of like I'm not saying leaning over towards it way more though, but. I guess you can't say that though, cause like shit, we like he was like you gotta stay. He was as many as many beats as we was making, or as many beats as me and my niggas and my sure anybody was making though. He was knocking them bitches out though. You know what I'm saying? So he was yeah, really was like the, the, like the nigga was really like like Gucci and still like he'd be he, like keep niggas careers like alive and afloat, man. Mm -hmm. He got forever fans like like for real like and like he really is like a street Anardo because like uh, everybody who didn't pop the motherfucking brush shoulders with Goo Wop. Yeah, for real, like, and I feel like I feel like Gucci, he, he, he he's gonna be a legend forever, though. Man. Right. Like, that's that's the dog, man. That's a big homie, man. Like, ain't got nothing bad to say about Gucci, man, at all, man. Like, that's one real nigga in the game. You know what I'm saying? That's I fucks real. with him, though. And, what about uh, Q? Shit, you know Q. Um, she came like from under my seat, under my wing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. for real. You know what I'm saying? But. Sure, he did his thing, broke through, made his made his hits, had his change. We working right now. He actually at the house right now. We about to um, work on this album that we are doing right now. Man. So um, I'm not sure when that's dropping though, but we about to do that. Y'all know mm -hmm. you heard a song Gucci said that we did. Actually, I didn't listen to it, but I definitely seen it on yeah. the internet. I got to check it out. Yeah, we just put that out though. That one's stuck going crazy though. Nice. You know what I'm saying? But we we about to do we about to do like we about to do this shit like the right way how it's supposed to be done you know what I'm on exactly. our end though you know what I'm saying right now that's cool yeah I definitely got great, great chemistry you know whenever I hear mm -hmm. Q I want I'm rooting for him I want him to win mm -hmm. um, but you know to me like I said production is critical and mm -hmm. I definitely hear y'all chemistry so I look forward to that Amen. Shit, um, that, that is what it is you know what I'm saying shit mm -hmm. you saying as soon as I did a record for him shit went up I know it went up you Easy. know what I'm saying so, and I can have with anybody though, y'all just got motherfucking have the content, put the content out. Mm -hmm. I be telling people, 
have the content on it. Either go hard or just have the, enough. To, um, if you don't go hard on whatever it is that you're doing, just make sure you got no records to compensate for all the work that you're not doing. That's out true. in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't really want too much. So, you know, kind of explain to me what you miss about hip hop or music in general that no longer exists. Like for me, I miss Rap City The Basement. So what would you say you miss that doesn't exist anymore? Or is not even doesn't exist or isn't as popular. Yeah. I don't really miss too much anything. I kinda like what um where the shit is going, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest, like I'm you know, cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm gotcha. really cool, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm kinda like some things like you gotta understand it's like you know, some things that just ain't supposed to move the generations. Like I'm pretty sure some shit that was in our parents' generation that we have no clue about. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like um like BT uncut. I'm glad that shit got left like <laughs> okay. back where it was left there. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't I don't know who how the world would be to them that was actually on TV again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like shit like that though. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of cool where it's going, but. Yeah, everything going to the internet though, shit. Right, <laughs> we got BT Uncut yeah. on the Instagram now. You did? Yeah, yeah. right. Touch the crib, that mean I'm spending every day. What we doing? Getting money. How we doing? Every day. Or the case, tell the bartender we need. So, I'm digging the afro, so I just want to know, like, what was the inspiration behind that? I know you had braids <laughs> for a minute, so where the afro come from? Uh, well, actually, I know somebody gonna watch this in my, in my camp and shit, though. You know, I got an older brother. Right. Um, his name Prince. You know, we do music too, though. But he started rocking the afro and shit. And like, um, I took my braids out one day, and I just, I just fucking wore my hair like this. And he had a bandana. He was wearing a bandana and shit. I just adopted his whole swag. You know what I'm saying? And right. I just, I just ran with it. I just liked it. So all that Jimi Hendrix shit, man. Y'all need to stop that shit, man. Just cause a nigga got an afro, a nigga just automatically become Jimi Hendrix. The fuck, man. I can't do nothing with my hair, bro. Can't do, can't. If I get dreads, I'm be Wiz Khalifa. Right. If I, if I fucking put a cap on with a fro, I'm be Wiz Khalifa. If I have a fucking afro like this, I'm be Wiz Khalifa. Jimmy Andrew, like, bro, cut that shit out. Right. Hell, nigga, I look like Sunny, man. Shit, let me, let me live, yeah. man. You know, people always want to have something to compare you to. That's just how the human mind works, I guess. It is, though. It is, though. Especially if you, you're a public figure. You know what I mean? So I ain't tripping, though. It's just funny. It'd be funny. I'd be like, dang, man, I can't do nothing, man. Like, I can't. I put some braids in just because I got braids and I'm light skinned. I look like Nipsey Hussle. I'm like, nigga, we don't look <laughs> shit alike, bro. Like, I got tattoos. We got tattoos. I got we got braids. We, <laughs> come on, man. We got. That's I guess funny. we got the the same um i don't know but we don't look the fucking same like you know what i'm saying like cut that shit out man i would say wiz you look like wiz i man. would say but i like i like both y'all i mean y'all could look like y'all could be brothers i'm not gonna lie and that's cool though yeah i ain't saying that's a bad thing though, but <laughs> i i know wiz personally mm -hmm. i've been around me and that nigga does not look nothing to like bro <laughs> i got a gap he doesn't you know what i'm saying he got dreads i don't man that's funny the only thing that that looks the same is, bro. He he, we're both tall and skinny. Exactly. That's it. That's the only thing that looks the same. Like yeah. people are saying that we look the same. That's like me saying, well, you look like on Tequisha down the street, <laughs> like the regular black girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wiz, I see that you're now 420 friendly. So, kind of explain that process, that experience. What changed? Um, what changed? Oh, no. Um, ain't nothing changed. Well, what I was trying to really do was I was trying to kick another habit. I was trying to kick the habit of smoking black and miles and shit. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just, that smells too strong. And, mm -hmm. like, this shit just ain't. It ain't it, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like cigarettes and shit though. Like it just don't smell good. It's not an attractive smell. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So But I was just addicted to like just smoking and shit though. But I just remember like I just didn't like getting high at first though. You know what I'm saying? So But it's levels to weed and shit though. You know what I'm saying? It's almost kinda like entry level weed. Then mm -hmm. you get to your motherfucking um golden medallion fucking level, then you get to your fucking your fucking platinum member and shit, you know what I'm saying? So like when I was in, I went to LA at the beginning of this year for a month, and then 
Um, everybody that didn't smoke black and mouth or anything, anything got out of the, out of that shit though. So everybody was smoking like um, weed and shit though. So I just um, I just really um picked it up out there. <laughs> it's right. just like how can like, you not? Yeah, cause it was like then on top of that too, it was like man, like alright, well we stayed at we stayed in the hills and shit though. And so like going to the store and shit though, it always took like. 10 minutes going down this long ass hill that we didn't feel like going down and shit though but it was always weed there like weed was always being brought there so motherfucking I didn't even know how to roll roll weed in January I, I learned how to roll like what like near the end and shit though that's crazy you know what I'm saying right. and so like um motherfucking my boy um DJ um John John he worked with um YG and um Mustard and them I think that's like that's nice. the nigga that got me hot Dope. Like like they got me really on the shits out there though. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to you. You changed my life, bro. Um, he um, shit, he gave me some good gas and that shit from there. Really game on, just been smoking. Right. Spoiled my life for <laughs> Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 15, I was getting money. So describe your idea, female. Does she have tattoos? No tattoos. She ain't got no tattoos. Well, she ain't got as many as me. You know what I'm she can have some, but not as many as me. Why? Just curious. So many, how many tattoos do you have? If you had a count, I mean, like with me, I hate when people ask me that because it's yeah. like I don't know. But yeah. how I mean, many I would you say know. roughly? I I'm not even gonna ask because I don't want to get the line and shit though. I feel like counting your tattoos is so like little kiddish. Like, right, you know, right. Dude, how the fuck do you even count all these shit? Like they're so broken up and together. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm grown. I right. like counting my tattoos. Like, don't you think if I would have had to answer for you, I would have been like just extremely bored if you count my fucking tattoos? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would have been like, how do you know how many you had? You counted yeah, before, yeah, so. Yeah. Have you ever had any bad tattoo experiences? Yeah, you get tattoos, all your tattoos ain't gonna be fire. I mean, I mean, I mean unless you unless you just start off in fire red shop though. But yeah, nigga, you got all types of bad tattoos though. But that's just a story in itself though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can tell you about really tattoos to me is just kind of like they help me remember like time and shit though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I can remember exactly like. It's on my body, so I remember exactly when, where I can take you to every spot. Like, when I say every spot, I mean every literal spot where I got my tattoo with. You know what I'm saying? But I can't tell you too much about what happened yesterday, though. <laughs> where? That's how important they are, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. It kind of like, it just kind of like freeze time for a minute, though. Kind of yeah. like put you in a different place in time. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the Coke, I don't sell my leg no more. Tattoos on your face, man. Really, to be honest, I don't look at my face all the time. I look at my face up, but I don't, I'm not like a female, so I don't right. like again which side is which and which ones is on which side, though. You know what I'm saying? But the 777s seven, seven, is on this side, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's on this side. Mm -hmm. That's, um, alright, so. I'm just gonna tell you about that one though. I don't feel like telling you about it alone though. But 777 basically is, um, I see this number 37 all the time. I see 37 like so many times and shit, though, and shit. So, like, I just broke it down. I ain't gonna put like the number 37 on me. So, mm -hmm. I broke it down into three sevens. That's dope. Three seven. But, I don't know what the um, 37 means though. Even though, I cra as crazy as that sounds, sound crazy as hell though, but. I can just like, it's just like the number 37 just follows me a whole bunch. I can just show you that shit like, it's just anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you just gotta, you just gotta see it though, it's kind of crazy. It's interesting though, like, if you be around me though, like, I showed this one girl, I told this one girl not so long ago, I was like, man, I see this number all the time, she asked me the same thing. So I see this number 37 all the time. I really didn't want to tell her though, because off rip shit, they be like, man, they crazy as hell. <laughs> I'm sitting there with the girl, I told her, I said, I see the number 37 all the time, and she, I'm just showing her the shit, like, it's just right there, like, it's just, like, it's everywhere, it's literally, like, everywhere, I'm like, man, look, I'm looking on Instagram, I'm like, how many likes that picture got right there, I just scrolled past 37, now, come on, my nigga, like, 
It's funny that you say that every day I see 11 11. So I had I screenshot that shit every day because I told my mom the same shit. Like, this is weird. So I definitely understand. Mm -hmm. And a new place. Exactly. So I understand. You know it's I'm weird. Saying? It's crazy, but I mean, you just got to show It means people. something, though. It do. I mean, my brother be seeing 11 11 all the time, though. Yeah. yeah. All I know is count while I'm getting high. All I know is flex while I'm in the club. Uh, do you do you feel like that you may get misjudged because you have tattoos? You know what I mean. Just say like, for instance, if you in public and they don't know who Sunny Digital is. Hell yeah, of course. All the time, you know they, shit, they gonna misjudge you. You, I'm black with tattoos. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, anywhere you go, that shit. Then on top of that, they on my face too. Feel like this nigga ain't got shit to live for. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. You know what I'm saying? That's just what they think first. And I know that though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, I mean, I ain't saying that I sh shouldn't not be mad at it though. But I mean, it ain't really too much you can like. It's like people opinions, you know what I'm saying? Like if I see, if I see a big ass swole ass nigga coming here, and I first thing I'm gonna think, oh that nigga probably beat somebody ass in this motherfucker. Right. That nigga probably won't hurt the fucking fly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just how people think. You know what I'm saying? It's like and you know, like, well, I forgot how they say you shouldn't like judge a book by its cover. Why you shouldn't judge people? As much as we shouldn't do that shit though. It's like a natural thing. Like it it's is. like human nature. You're gonna judge somebody until you actually get to know them. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't help that shit, man. At all. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad when, when people when people see it though. But I'm I'm more I'm more interested in like showing people that shit. I'm more I'm wanna prove them wrong with this shit. I'm not who you think I am, you know what I'm saying? I ain't about to come here and come steal your shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm about to come here and come buy this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's real. For real. Yeah. So lastly, just uh, just kind of let us know if you got what you got coming up. Just anything. <coughs> I know you were saying you and uh, Q working on a project, but what else? Yeah, me and Q, we gonna do a project. He thought we had a name. We ain't got a name for that shit right now. Though. We we um, gonna figure that shit out. And I'm, I actually got my label and stuff though. And so like, to be for real. I, I'm not so much like looking for artists and shit though, but producers is always plus up. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, but I ain't, I'm not like just scavenging and all this shit though. So I don't want niggas to take this shit like it all literal, like I'm just in, in dire need for y'all and this shit though. It's nothing like that at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you cool, you got talent, you fuck with me, I fuck with you, let's do some business. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm working on, um, my project really i really want to put that shit out first for real for everything okay. though but that shit just hard and then you know we still working on like all the um all the regular like shit in atlanta you know what i'm saying like future and everybody out here just supplying the sauce exactly you know what i'm saying You're just supplying the city and shit though you know what i'm saying just putting it everywhere and shit right it's cool. i mean it's just i'm just doing my job ain't nothing next i'm just doing what i'm supposed to do you know what i'm saying that's real. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sunny Digital. Ay, 15, I was getting money. 17, I was getting money. Ay, 20, I was still getting money.